Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lan, and today I'm going to update you on the status of the ladybugs. Recap: Last time I released a thousand and five hundred ladybugs inside my house, specifically inside my basement. As you know, I have a lot of plants. I keep hydroponically in my basement. I got um, an aphid problem on and off. So to solve the issue. Um, I released 1,500 ladybugs. If you have not watched that video, I have it linked in the description box. Now, without further ado, let's get started. When I received the package, I opened it immediately and released the bug. I also provided them water and raisin as soon as possible. I came back the next morning to check on them, and it turned out that half of them didn't make it. Look at all the lives that's lost even before they went into the battle. So sad. After all, it took them about 5 days to arrive at my doorstep. By that time, they were dehydrated. With the current pandemic, it's lucky to get it in less than 5 days. Like I said, the first package I ordered was lost. Next time, I would just find a local nursery and pick up from there. And if you order them in the mail before you open up the package and let them loose, make sure you miss the package first so they get hydrated. It turns out that ladybugs are not that smart to find a water source. Better provide them water beforehand. Okay, about this ladybug's house, it didn't serve the purpose. Even after I tried to stuff some lettuce and flowers inside, the ladybugs didn't want to stay in there. Don't waste your money on this. I ended up returning. They prefer to stay inside the plants and flowers. After all, it's more like a natural habitat for them. Regarding the aphids, I gotta admit the ladybugs help a lot. I no longer see any aphids on the plants that the ladybugs usually hang around. But here's the catch. They seem to be more interested in cuddling with their friends, family, relative, and mating. Deep down, I just want to smack the head and say, Hello, I hire you to eat, kill aphids, not to show your love. See, too much love is not good sometimes. Anyway, if you have these little guys, make sure you miss the plants to provide them water source. I miss the plants about twice a day and also put a wet paper towel near the system. I just hope they are smart enough to find water by themselves. Oh, by the way, they are easily to drown. I didn't know the ladybugs are that vulnerable. Some of you show concern that they will infest my house by laying eggs and cause another problem. Let me tell you, keeping them alive is a very hard task. And when they lay eggs like this, I was over the moon. Like, oh my god, oh my god, eggs. You know, ladybug's life cycle have four stages. Eggs, lava, pupa, and adult. The lava stage is when they eat the most. They look like a tiny alligator with spines and spots. Totally not something that you see and say, Oh, how cute. It looks very hostile. So next time you see one in your garden, don't freak out and kill it. It's totally friendly and very helpful. If one adult ladybug can eat 20 aphids a day, a lava consumed 10 times that amount. So I have high hope in the next generation. A month later, I spot less than 20 ladybugs. Most of them belly up and end up on the floor. I try to feed them raisin and water, but they die off anyway. I just don't get it. Although the aphids population reduced significantly, so did the ladybug's population. And no, they didn't die because there's a food shortage. It's very frustrating to see them congregated at places you don't want them to. Although this is a very fun experiment for me, if you have a really bad aphid infestation, I recommend you to just dispose everything, sanitize, 
and then wait for two weeks before you restarting a new crop. This is my parents' eye harvest. They had an aphid infestation before because they brought in some of the outdoor soil inside when the winter came. They kept it near this hydroponic system, so that's how they got aphid. After what I told them, they got rid of the soil matter, disposed everything, clean, and waited for two weeks, then restart. Now no more aphid. Just like anything else in life, once the situation gets out of hand, sometimes it's best to just start from fresh. As for me, I might have to do that at some point, but for now, I will wait and see if the um, ladybug's eggs will hatch into lava and that will get rid of all the aphids for good. Um, I'm still very hopeful, crossing my fingers. After all, it took me four months to grow this strawberry plant from seeds to flower stage. I can't just throw them away. I grow three strawberry plants in this garden. Please use my coupon code plant for table if you want to buy this system. I also have the link in the description box. And please subscribe to my channel if you have not for future videos. For now, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!